Hi, folks. So we are getting back into Sunday school this week after uh, a fun summer together and a few intergenerational worships over the last two weeks. We had a great rally day Sunday, and now we'll be back into Sunday school classes. Now, for this week, we're looking at a passage from uh, a guy named Paul. He he wrote the passage. He wrote a letter to a church in a place called Philippi, which uh, was in the ancient Mediterranean. Paul wrote this while he was in prison to these folks, and a big focus that we're going to be looking at within uh, the curriculum this week is how Paul encourages other people, um, even in the midst of trying times, and um, how important that is for us to be able to, as we speak about the good news about Jesus and God's love, that uh, that we encourage other people and, uh, and be that support there for them. And Paul talks about being uh, united in the Spirit and this idea um, that, uh, well, it's tied in with this idea that especially in those moments of, of suffering, we need to be uh, supportive of one another and, and stick together. And that's really important, I think, for us to be able to share with, uh, well, all generations of folks in the church. One other part, too, for the older kids that we'll be looking at a little bit is uh, Paul talks about, wow, you know, like right now, <laughs> being with Jesus in heaven would be pretty great thing and we can imagine especially in terms of being in prison that uh, that you know he's he's thinking about those things but he wants to continue his work um, here on earth and to be able to uh, support people because that's also really important uh, too and he feels like that's the most necessary thing and uh, that's an important reminder for us while we are people that live in hope and that uh, as we um, uh, well, when we think about death, we also think about life beyond death and the promise uh, of that uh, through God. Um, but we also remember that uh, the necessary thing for us right now on earth is to uh, well do the uh, the work of compassion and love that is the fruit of that relationship that we have with God and Jesus. So you can talk a little bit about that with uh, some of our older kids as well. I hope this is helpful for you as a bit of an introduction for this week. Um, we're looking forward to seeing folks here on Sunday and God bless.